What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the love message for somebody. So let's see what's gonna get this reading. <laughs> I do have my social medias in the description box if you guys want to go check that out. Pisce. What's up Pisces? Thank you so much for being here. This message could resonate with you if you have Pisces as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So Pisces, this love message is going to, oh my gosh. Pisces, what is going on? I don't know what is going on with you in love, but I feel like you're fed up. I feel like you're trying to, you're trying to keep it together, but it's just like it keeps, it's like it keeps falling apart. It's like you have a certain way where you're going and then something happens and then it just goes to shit and you're just like, I don't care about this. Pisces, this love reading, I'm going to see how you feel about your person here, how your person feels about you here, and the energy between you guys, and if I feel like I need to, I will ask some advice at the end, okay? All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on. Pisces, how do they feel about their person? You have calling in your soulmate, all right, with true love. This is a, the love of a romance. <laughs> this is... This is the life, the romance of a lifetime. So I feel like you're trying to be positive right now when it comes to your love life and the person that you're thinking about or dealing with. You're trying to be really positive here. I also feel like some of you guys are asking the universe if this is my person, like show me, send me a sign, whatever. You guys are very much intuitive. Um, so... I don't know, but this is very much, um, this is giving me like one day you love this person and one day you want to stab him in the eye, okay? This is much giving me, I want this really bad, but I also don't want it if it's not for me, okay? Religious factors and pay attention to the red flags. I mean, the red flags are ridiculous and that's why you have calling in your soulmate here because it's like you're seeing all this stuff and you're just like wait what this is this is what is this really what i just got myself into like i feel like you're slowly but surely coming to realize all right i also feel like you guys were brought up differently and that has a big that has a big um it's like now you're starting to see that that's a very big issue But this is someone that you're supposed to be with. Um, don't think it's for, it's supposed to be forever, but um, you were definitely supposed to meet this person. All right. All right, Spirit. What is, how does Pisces feel about their person? Bottom of the deck is the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, but you don't have to be. You have the Ace of Cups with the Justice card in reverse. You have the high priestess in reverse with the page of pentacles in reverse so i'm getting two things this could be a new person or this could be like like a new level in your relationship with someone like maybe you guys broke up for a while now you're back together <clears throat> however this is for you i feel like you feel like this new beginning or this new thing is not is not just it's not it's not fair right like i feel like at first it was all great and dandy and now you're realizing well this isn't fair and I feel like with the high preachers in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse, I don't feel like you're listening to your intuition. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like your intuition is telling you, hey, this is an unfair situation. This is not going fair for you. Um, I also feel like you feel like someone's not taking care of themselves. Okay. Like physically, mentally, however you see this. Um, you don't feel like yourself. Pisces, I feel like with this devil card, there's a lot of negative energy and the sex could be really good. That That is, could be what's keeping you here. I feel like there's an obsession with this energy to have this in your space. I feel like whatever this devil energy is, whatever, it's, it's, it's a good feeling. It's only temporary, right? If it's sex, it's only temporary. If it's this person says certain things, it's only temporary. Like it's not a consistent thing. And that's what the devil, that's that's the energy of the devil. The devil, 
makes little things seem so grand so that you stay, even though there's all of this unjustified, unfair energy happening. Judgment in reverse and the page of swords. There's, a, there's an important decision. decision. This could be with an Aquarius or a Libra Gemini. There's an important decision here that you feel like you have to, that you know you have to make, I'm sorry, and you're not making it here, okay? Or if I, I feel like you're going to get to it, but you're getting to it very slowly. Like with the Page of Swords, you want to find out everything that you need to find out before you make this decision because I feel like you don't want to regret it. But with the devil, that's the devil energy making you feel like that. Like, oh, go slow, you know, because again, the little things feel so good to you, but the big things, right, the big things feel shitty the big things make it an unfair situation and that is what i want you to focus on here pisces the big things okay um because you're really holding on to the king of pentacles and the not king of cups in reverse you're holding on to somebody who's financially stable but emotionally they're closed off emotionally they aren't available they could also be using how much you love them to their advantage to get their way okay um, and it's like somebody's refusing to, there, it's like, because you're holding on to this Pisces, it's, it's like something has to change. And because you're holding on to it, it's not going to change. All right. So let's see what's going on here. Let's see how they're feeling about you, Pisces. Pisces, how does... Make it Pisces spirit. How does Pisces person feel about them and the relationship? Bottom of the deck is pay attention to the red flags. You have make the effort and let your friends help you. All right, so your person is seeing a lot of red flags within you, Pisces. Don't shoot the messenger. Um... And they're still trying to make the effort. They're still, it's like they, they have this energy or this thought of, I still want to try. Um, they could be asking friends and family for help here. But they know that there's red flags within the relationship. They see the red flags within you. They also feel like, um, they also feel like you are their true love too, okay? Um, or that, um, you know, they've never felt like this with anybody else, which is probably why they're, they're still trying to make the effort, even though they see all the red flags. Um, and they also feel like they kind of have the same energy as you too, Pisces. If you resonate more with this side than this side, that's fine. Just feel, take what feels right. I feel like they also feel like the way you guys were brought up was completely different. And that could also be a problem because your mindsets are different. You guys think different. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. How does Pisces person feel about them? All right, bottom of the deck is the devil. We have the devil energy here twice now, okay? For both of you. You have the hangman in reverse with the six of swords in reverse. You have the eight of swords in reverse with the five of wands here. And then the devil at the bottom of the deck. So Pisces, your person feels like, there's, your person feels stuck. Your person feels stuck. It's like they don't know what to do. And again, they're in the same energy. This could be the sex. This could be whatever. But it's like, the when, it's like they're obsessed with the little things, okay? The sex, the, the temporary emotions is what they're holding on to. And we should not hold on to anything that's temporary because that's just holding us back. That's why the devil comes in here. But they're actually really unhappy with the Ten of Cups in reverse. But anyway, um, I feel like they feel stuck here. And because they feel stuck, they could be like making choices and stuff that isn't that doesn't even make sense. That is actually moving them backwards instead of forwards here. And this could be causing a lot of drama a lot of challenges, a lot of fights here. And they think that it's helping them get out of their head, but it's actually making them more in their head, which is why they're asking their friends or their family, like, what to do here. <sighs> so 
some truth is coming. I feel like I feel like they're going to realize that they need to heal something here. Because it's becoming too much here. There's an important decision here that has to be made because they know that they're, they're faking the funk. This person is acting happy and they're really not. They're also not nurturing this connection, Pisces. They're not emotionally nurturing it here. They're not listening to their intuition. They could be going out with their friends and family to kind of distract themselves from the work that needs to be done within the relationship. They could be making plans, goals, like to just have fun right now. It's like they're confused. Like that, now they're showing me, oh, but I want to fight for this because this has, you know, I've been here for so long. This has, um, you know, I've, I've, I've worked so hard with this. I've built all of these um, six pentacles here. I just had this last one, like I could do it. But they're also showing me, I want to be independent. I want to be single. I don't want to pour into this love, into this connection. The emperors could be an Aries. Doesn't have to be with the three of swords. It's like. They're holding on to past pain here. They're not listening to their intuition. I feel like they need to close out a chapter within their life and they're not doing that. Okay, and that could be what's delaying the process here. There could be certain friends that they have in their space that has to go and they're just not, they just don't want to. All right, what's the energy between these two, Spirit? All right, you have the Nine of Coins in reverse. You have the Magician in reverse, the Two of Wands with the Five of Swords. I feel like both of you guys are playing games. I feel like both of you guys are playing like quote unquote stupid. Um, but because I feel like, a, I feel like you guys feel like, well, if we actually talk about the big elephant in the room, it's going to cause more stress. And then we're going to have to make plans to move forward. Like I... And this is kind of like thinking about the big, talking about the big elephant in the room is going to cause more problems and it's going to be harder to get rid of the elephant than if we just pretend it's not there. But it's actually going to make things a lot harder for you guys down the line because this is like you guys are pulling a dead weight. You know, both of you guys know that something needs to be talked about. Both of you guys know that something isn't working and you're still like, well, we got other things to worry about. Mm. I don't know, nine of coins in reverse, the ten of cups, and the page of coins here. I feel like both of you guys depend on each other financially or um, maybe just um, each other's company. I also feel like that's why you guys, oh, wow, wow, wow. For most of you, your joy comes with the financial things, the physical things. Ask yourself this, Pisces. If the person that you're with or that you're thinking about, if the financial stuff wasn't there, right? The money, the house, the 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 cars, whatever financial situation it is that you guys are depending on each other for, if that wasn't an obstacle, would you still be happy? Would you still be with this person? Right? If you if 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 that if you guys think about it, if you didn't have everything that you have right now with this person, would you still be with this person? Because if what's keeping you happy is the physical things that brings along this relationship, then you're not really happy. All right. I'm gonna be on I'm always honest in my love readings because I'm obsessed with love. Like I love, I'm not obsessed, but I love love. And I'm not gonna mislead you. I'm not gonna sugarcoat. Because love is of the highest frequency and we, sh we should all be with the person that we should be with. The person that we, you know, there's people in our lives that are meant to teach us a lesson, Pisces. And there's other people in our lives that are meant to go, though. I mean, everyone technically teaches us lessons. But there's other, there's certain people that are supposed to not last as long as other people, right? Like certain people are here just for a quick time. Other people are here for the long run. Sometimes we take the quick time and we drag it out to the long run and we drag it out more than it's supposed to be, which is fine, right? I've been there. I've done that. But when something like this is happening and you feel this, Pisces, you're very intuitive. You have to go with this because you should know from the past experiences in your life when you have dragged things out that needed to end, it always ended really bad when you could have nipped it in the butt earlier, okay? I'm not saying to just end this relationship cold turkey but don't ignore the elephant in the room because that needs to be talked about 
the more you ignore it, the bigger it's going to get and the less obvious. And then it's going to start showing and then other people are going to start seeing it. Right now, I feel like only you two can see it. But the more you ignore it, it's all the people are going to start seeing it. All right. And especially this person who's talking to their friends, their family about the situation. People are already kind of knowing um, what's going on because they're talking about it to people. But I do see a cycle here that needs to be closed and I don't think it is. All right. Well, Pisces, that's all that I have. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.